വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനദർ ലെക്ചർ ഓൺ ദി ബാലൻസിങ് ഓഫ് റെസിപ്രൊക്കേറ്റിംഗ് മാസസ് നമ്മൾ ഇതുവരെ പഠിച്ചത് ബാലൻസിങ് ഓഫ് റൊട്ടേറ്റിംഗ് മാസസ് ആയിരുന്നു വേർ ഹി ഹവ് കം കണ്ടക്റ്റഡ് ബോത്ത് സ്റ്റാറ്റിക് എസ് വെൽ എസ് ഡൈനാമിക് ബാലൻസിങ് സോ ഹിയർ വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റഡിയിങ് ദി ബാലൻസിങ് ഓഫ് റെസിപ്രൊക്കേറ്റിംഗ് മാസ് ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സി എ സ്ലൈഡർ ക്രാങ്ക് മെക്കാനിസം വേർ ക്രാങ്ക് ഹാവിങ് ലെങ് ദ ആർ ആൻഡ് കണക്റ്റിംഗ് റോഡ് ലെങ് ദ ഹാവിങ് എൽ ഇസ് ഷോൺ വിച്ച് ഈസ് അറ്റാച്ച് ടു എ സ്ലൈഡർ ആൻഡ് ദി സ്ലൈഡർ ഓർ റെസിപ്രൊക്കേറ്റിംഗ് മാസ് ഈസ് ഹാവിങ് മാസസ് m and now this crank is rotating in the anti clockwise direction with the omega and at the instant it is making an angle of theta with respect to the horizontal so we have studied in the dynamic force and analysis that whenever it is moving with respect to omega the acceleration made will be equal to acceleration of the piston or slider you have studied which is r omega square into cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by n where n is the ratio of con length of connecting rod to crank so this is the acceleration that the slider will be attaining so this will be moving in this direction or in the opposite direction an inertia force will be acting this will be the direction of inertia force so the total inertia force acting will be mass into acceleration or mass into acceleration is this one which is mr omega square into cos theta if i am opening bracket this will be the first term and next term will be mr omega square into cos 2 theta divided by n so this will be the net force acting along the line of stroke as a result of this acceleration of the sliding parts and this force will be acting as the unbalanced forces along this line of stroke this first part will be calling it as the primary unbalanced force and the second one will be calling as the secondary unbalanced force so here by conducting the balancing of balancing of reciprocating masses will be balancing for both the primary unbalancing force as well as secondary unbalancing force if you are comparing this one here secondary unbalancing force one n is coming in the denominator usually n is large which is representing l by r ratio so in uh, compared to primary balancing usually will be neglecting uh, but in the case of high speed engines because of omega square high speed engines the secondary unbalanced force will also be considerable so initially in this part we will be considering only the primary unbalanced force and we will be doing their primary balancing and at the end of the chapter we will be conducting complete balancing means we will be considering both the primary and secondary unbalancing so here first we will be considering only primary balancing where only the effect of primary unbalanced forces are considered so we will be conducting the primary balancing so if you are considering only this force then the force will be acting along the line of stroke means mr omega square cos theta force will be acting along the line of stroke so this is the net unbalanced force so the net unbalanced force along the line of action when you are considering primary balancing so you have to if you have to balance the fo- balancing means you have to cancel out this unbalanced mr omega square cos theta how you can cancel out this is acting this is the line of stroke so unbalanced force is acting along the line of stroke opposite to the direction of motion which is mr omega square cos theta so if you are able to produce a force along the same line of stroke in this opposite direction which is having same magnitude which is mr omega square cos theta then you will can cancel out or you can complete the primary balancing how you can consider so for cancelling out this unba- uh, unbalanced force you will be extending the crank along the same direction means in this direction then and the same mass reciprocating mass m you will be placing here so this is the mass m you are placing and at an crank radius of r you will be placing and if this is theta this angle is also theta so whenever it is rotating with omega you have added an additional mass m which is corresponding the mass of reciprocating mass along the same 
crank line at a distance of r whenever it is rotating this will be producing a centrifugal force of m into r omega square so if you are resolving mr omega square into cos theta component will be acting along the horizontal direction along the line of stroke in this direction and an mr omega square sin theta component will be acting along this direction means as a result of adding this extra mass here at the r and at theta you are producing a force of mr omega square cos theta along the line of stroke in this shown direction initially you are having an unbalanced force of mr omega square cos theta along this line of stroke in the opposite direction so with the addition of this mass you can cancel out this mr omega square cos theta and this mr omega square cos theta means you can balance the force which is acting along the line of stroke which will be creating unbalanced shaking of the center system to and fro shaking will be removed as you are cancelling out but because of this addition of mass you are having an extra component of force which were initially adi namukku idu vare vertical component force unbalanced force nu illayirunnu pakshe horizontal line of stroke ullana balance cheyan vendi or mass add cheyumbo which will be producing a vertical unbalanced force so this will be even if it is cancelling out the shaking force along the line of stroke in addition it will be creating some vertical unbalanced force to the system so adu und we cannot completely remove this primary unbalanced force so whatever thing we are doing is known as partial primary balancing will be conducting partial primary balancing means here the mass is actually m so here we are adding the complete mass m for removing this unbalanced force acting along the line of stroke that is actually the par primary balance partial primary balancing means only a portion of portion of this mass is balanced portion of mass is balanced means this mass is actually the reciprocating mass so usually the portion of mass balance will be given as a multiple means as a fraction if c is representing a fraction then c into m will only be balanced means you are having the uh, slider crank mechanism this is the crank line of stroke and you are having the uh, slider which is coming here so the unbalanced force is actually mr omega square cos theta this angle is theta to cancel out you have in previous case same mass m add edu and it is becoming mr omega square cos theta along line of stroke so along line of stroke la unbalanced force net cancel eyunnundaru but here i am telling only a portion of m will be balanced or c en orainna or fraction c may be 0.5 avam 0.6 avam allengil 0.8 avam angan endelum times 0.6 times m irukku njan add edna means along the same this is crank radius and along the same length or at this distance this may be r here i will be placing the mass only c times m will only be placed so c times m will be producing a centrifugal force of will be producing a centrifugal force of cm into r into omega square so this will be producing a horizontal component of cm r omega square cos theta and a vertical component of cm r omega square sin theta so the advantage of this one is nerte net and balance force along line of stroke full cancel edu pakshe avade net and balance force along vertical direction mr omega square sin theta nu parayunnathu valli value undu but here we are doing only partial balancing partial primary balancing means only a fraction of reciprocating mass is balanced then this will not be completely cancelling out the unbalanced force along the line of action there will be some remaining unbalanced force along the line of action which you can calculate the unbalanced unbalanced force along the line of action or along the line of stroke remaining will be 
m r omega square is the actual unbalanced force initially and now you are uh, reducing it by c m r omega square then the remaining unbalanced force along this line of stroke will be 1 minus c into m r omega square cos theta and the unbalanced force along along a direction perpendicular to the line of stroke this will be equal to c into m r omega square sin theta means initially line of stroke along full uh, force unbalanced force zero aki but in a perpendicular direction or in a direction perpendicular line of stroke m r omega square sin theta and iron but here we are reducing this vertical unbalanced force adhinu vendittu only a fraction is balancing then the unbalanced force along the line of stroke will be 1 minus c m r omega square cos theta and unbalanced force along the line of uh, in a direction perpendicular line of stroke will be c into m r omega square then what is the net unbalanced force so you are having the unbalanced force along the line of stroke and in a direction perpendicular to the line of stroke which are these two forces are acting at uh, 90 degree so that you can find the net unbalanced force which is actually the resultant that you can obtain by the horizontal square plus vertical square under square root so this will be 1 minus c m r omega square cos theta the whole square plus c m r omega square sin theta the whole square this will be the total unbalanced force so nammal ipo parna net unbalanced force we will be getting m r omega square into square root of 1 minus c the whole square cos square theta plus c square sin theta sin, sin sin square theta so if you are analyzing it this unbalanced force we have to keep it at minimum and if you are observing c is actually the fraction of reciprocating mass to be balanced fraction of reciprocating mass so whenever c becomes c is equal to 1 by 2 or 0.5 then the unnet unbalanced force this is the net unbalanced force net unbalanced force will be minimum so c equal to 1 by 2 at c equal to half the unbalanced force will be minimum so whatever thing we have discussed is you are having a crank on the connecting road and piston on the so this is the line of stroke and here uh, the net unbalanced force for primary balancing or primary unbalanced force is m r omega square cos theta for balancing this it is actually like if you are having a reciprocating mass at this point and you will be balancing along this line only partial balancing is done at the same radius r i am considering here also r and here also r here i am considering c into m mass will be provided so this will be producing c m r omega square cos theta along this direction and this will be c m r omega square sin theta is in the base to net unbalanced force along horizontal and due to vertical and due to and netting and due to net minimum i reckon angle e c and over in a 0.5 times m i reckon angle only half of the reciprocating mass will be balanced and suppose again case set or take a case where the mass you have consider only reciprocating mass suppose there is a rotating mass also rotating mass at this crank pin let the rotating mass at the crank pin is mp so whenever it is rotating this will be producing the centrifugal force m r omega square so this will be producing mp into r omega square so if you have to balance this rotating mass also then you have to add a similar or you have to create a force which is acting along this direction which is producing mp into r omega square so for creating that you will have to balance this uh, rotating mass also for this you will be keeping this rotating mass that is this rotating mass mp at this point means if you are considering the rotating mass as well as reciprocating mass balancing then the total mass to be placed here will be the total balancing mass 
total balancing mass i am naming it as mb for balancing the rotating masses you will be you can completely balance the rotating mass means mp plus you will be balancing if the reciprocating mass is m you will be balancing only a fraction c times m will be balanced so c times m so this much mass you have to keep as the balancing mass so suppose so if this balancing mass is kept at a distance of rb then this balancing mass will be producing centrifugal force of mb rb into omega square and this will be equal to the net mass to be balanced which is mp into cm fraction of reciprocating mass into crank radius into omega square എനിക്ക് ഈ ആർ ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ബാലൻസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട മാസ് വെക്കേണ്ടത് ബാലൻസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട മാസ് മൊത്തം ഇതാണ് ബാലൻസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ട മാസ് ഒന്നുകിൽ ആറിൽ വെക്കാം അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ എം ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ഇഫ് ദിസ് ആർ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ആർ ദെൻ എം ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു എം പി പ്ലസ് ഇ എം അല്ല എങ്കിൽ ദാറ്റ് ബാലൻസിങ് മാസ് വിൽ ബി വേരിയിങ് ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഡിപ്പെൻഡിങ് അപ്പോൺ എനിവേ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എം ബി ആർ ബി ഷുഡ് ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു എം പി പ്ലസ് സി ഇൻറ്റു എം ഇൻറ്റു ആർ same crank radius same if this r equal to r same crank radius la vekkunengil the balancing mass required will be mp plus cm otherwise if your r is very then you can find this use this equation for finding the balancing mass required this is actually the total balancing mass at r you are finding this one so using this we will be solving a problem in the next video